Hi, if you're looking to learn how to get more clients for your business, build a business around your expertise and your vision, and step into your role as a CEO of your future success, I'm here to help you build a business that you love, that gets you the income and lifestyle you desire, and makes you feel proud of everything you've achieved and the difference you're making. If that sounds exciting to you and just what you're looking for right now, then Take a moment to apply for a call with me. But first, let me tell you a little bit more about me and how I can help you. So I'm Melita Campbell, a business coach for female entrepreneurs and an award-winning brand and marketing strategist. I've been working with businesses for more than 25 years now to help them build and grow their business through aligned marketing and communication strategies that really differentiate them in the marketplace and reflect their true values. I've worked with leaders of Fortune 500 companies, the various parts of the UN, as well as smaller businesses and solopreneurs throughout that time. And I've been building my own businesses for more than 13 years now and have a lot of practical experience uh, from that as well. I'm a speaker, two times bestselling author. I'm a TEDx speaker coach, and also I'm the host of the Driven Female Entrepreneur podcast. So all of that to say that I have the tools and skills to help you, but also I didn't just graduate yesterday. This is something I've been working on uh, for, for many years. So I have a wealth of experience to bring to you. So I wanted to just introduce you to the five steps for freedom. One of the challenges I see for a lot of people who are relatively new in their business is that they're not always aware of where they're at in terms of the lifetime of their business effectively. So this is a model that illustrates that. So we start with the creation phase. So this is where you are investing in research, you're de developing your business model, and you're getting launched. You're getting your business out there for the first time. That's a very exciting time. Then this next part is what most people aren't aware of. They think I've launched their business and then they uh, get into the control phase and then they grow it from there. But there's this a chaos phase in the middle can really trip you up if you're not aware that it's there. Once you know that you have to go through this, then <coughs> it makes that whole process much easier to navigate. So chaos is when you're really starting to invest in your, your business. You're starting to see what's working. You're, you're testing out new things. You're really, you've got your brand and your first offer is out there and you've got your business model, but you're really putting that to the test and making it work for you. You're seeing what connects with your clients, you're refining your niche, you're really doing all those niggly little things that are going to help build you that solid business. Now, depending on how long you spend in this chaos phase, you can see that gray line along the bottom is the break even point. So you want to make sure that you don't dip too far below that and go into the red, uh, because that's going to make, of course, that upward turn is going to take more momentum and, and, a, and it's going to take you a longer path. So the way to cut through the top is to have a clear framework to help you navigate that process. And that is where I can come in and help you with my dream client's blueprint that I'll introduce you to in a moment. So once you've gone through that chaos stage, you, you've, you've ironed out all the creases, you've made all the connections and everything is starting to work, you move into the control phase. And this is where you can really start to take things to the next level by measuring everything you're doing, incentivizing your team more, growing your business, and really making that a solid uh, enterprise to take you to the next level. Then you get to the prosperity stage where you can start to really economize. So you're getting the most out of your existing assets and starting to see about what investments you can make for the future growth. And then you get the freedom stage finally, Whatever that means to you, maybe that's you want to sell your business. And if you've gone through this model and you've created your, your processes, you've built a business that has a clear purpose. It's really built around delighting those customers and you have that solid customer flow into your business. Then you have a really hot business that you can sell if that's what you want. Or you can put your management team in place and take a step back to have more of an overseeing role and take that time and income to live the life that you want to. Or maybe it's something that you want to continue doing or perhaps replicate. You've, you've made that business a success and now you want to take all of those lessons 
and put those into a new business and start again. So whatever that freedom looks like for you, that's the stage where you'll get there. But first, you have to go through these other four steps along the way. Now, I want to come back to this dream client's blueprint that's going to help you. And it, it really comes into the kind of end of the creation phase through chaos and gets you into control. And this is a system that I've developed through, through my experience with uh, my own businesses from working for in, in with small businesses, corporates um, and multinationals for many, many years and from building my own businesses and coaching hundreds of women over the last few years. This is where I've seen the most helpful focus, because that's the thing with your business. You need to be doing the right things at the right time and having that focus. And that's what's going to help you move your business solidly forward. So we start with the clarity. So this is understanding your vision, your values, and what, what's really important to your business. What are you really trying to achieve and make happen? And then we find your right clients because you don't want just any clients. One of the biggest questions I'm asked is how do I get more clients? Is that you don't want more clients, you want more of the right clients. The wrong clients can really drive your business into the ground quickly. So you really need to know what's your niche. Who are those ideal clients you want to be working with? How are you going to find them? How are you going to track them in with the right offers, which is the next stage? So how are you going to package your expertise, your philosophy, your approach to solving a problem that they have in a way that's going to delight them? It's not going to be like anyone else and it's going to be delivered with excellence. So that's really that clarity piece. Then we really look at, well, how do you then start to build it, uh, a solid pipeline of clients through your marketing plan and through your sales processes? And what other processes can you have to make sure that you can uh, delight your customers at every stage profitably? That's really, really key. You know, you, we can always delight our customers, but it's the profit piece that's really important. So having processes that make your business streamlined um, and effective are really key here. So we'll look at those three areas while at the same time trying to keep everything, well, not trying, keeping everything in balance so that you can really step into that role as the CEO of your future. So here we're looking at your productivity. How do you manage your time? How do you stay focused and motivated? What is it that works for you? And I'll show you various different systems that you can use and will help find that right um, combination that works for you and your situation. Then the leadership piece. Now, this is having confidence. This is your mindset. This is your process. This is you being in control and running your business and not letting it run you, <laughs> which can happen very, very easily. So this is everything that you need to know to stay as the, the captain of your own ship. And we'll look at how do we start building your team. And that team, initially, it may just be a helpful partner or a neighbor or a friend who comes and helps you out or, or in, in some little way, then a virtual team and building into a more permanent team. So we look at what that takes. Why I focus on these three is because I think these are the three things that are essential to drive your business. So once you have clarity, you know where you're going and what you're doing and why, and you have the balance, so you have the time and energy, you know, those two things together are going to give you the momentum you need to keep your business going. Starting a business is easy. Keeping that going, however, over a period of time and many years, and I'm sure you didn't start your business just for it to be a flash in the pan. This is something you want to really create a legacy around. Then you need those two so you have that momentum. Once you have the balance of profit, you have that time and energy and you're making a consistent, reliable income and profit, then you can use that to have the impact whatever that means to you. Maybe that's investing in, in charities and supporting others. Maybe it's having a better impact for your family. Maybe it's just having the security that you want for your own life. You know, there's, there's no right and wrong here. It's really what you want to create. And then having that clarity, that vision, knowing where you're going and knowing people are going to pay you for that and you can build profit then that's going to give you confidence that you've made the right choice, that you know what you're doing and you, you've got this. And once you have the confidence and momentum and the impact all working for you, then that's going to give you the lifestyle that you want. It's going to give you that freedom, the choice. I mean, that's what we all really start a business for, right? So these all work together to get you the results 
that lifestyle, that success, whatever that means to you. And this is what's really important to me about the dream client blueprint is it's not, okay, do this, that, then the other, and your business will work. Because I don't believe it's that simple. I want you to be able to tailor make all of these areas to what you desire, the, the impact that you want to have, the difference you want to make for your clients, for yourself, for your family. So this is a framework that I help you customize to your business through workbooks and videos and personalized one-to-one -one support. We will take you through this process. So the basic process will take around 12 weeks to complete. And then we have the follow on support to make sure that you have full confidence as you implement all of your strategies and take your business to the next level. If this sounds really exciting to you, then I'm excited to uh, speak with you. So do apply for that call. Before you do, let's look at what you need to do to prepare for that call. So the call is quite short. It's about half an hour. So as long as you've done a little bit of thinking beforehand um, and you're ready for action, then we can make we can do a lot in half an hour. So be sure that you are ready to invest time and resources needed to take your business forward. On the call, we'll look at where you are now, where you wanna go, and what are those next steps that are gonna help you get there. And if you aren't ready to actually take action on those steps, then it's just gonna waste my time and yours. And time is the only resource we don't get back. It's really important to uh, treasure that. So if you're not ready to really take action, then this call isn't for you just yet. Feel free when you are ready to rebook or reapply. <clears throat> Think through what those challenges are in advance so you can come prepared to the call to know, okay, this is what I'm struggling with. How do I do that? What, what do I want to do? And think through as well, what is your future vision? So what direction? Because I can give you all sorts of strategies, but it's only going to help you if it's taking you in the right direction. So we really need to know those two. So have a bit of a think of that before our call. And come with an open mind as well. If you're not yet achieving uh, the success that you're looking for, then it may well be that you need to do something quite different. Um, so some of the, my suggestions may be make perfect sense to you and some of them you might be thinking oh I don't know if I can do that but come with an open mind because I wouldn't suggest anything I would believe you couldn't do or we couldn't achieve together so click the button below to apply for your call and I'm really looking forward to speaking with you